Hey guys, it's Mallory, and I am playing some Risk. Uh, we're going to be playing um, the Troy board. I finally got my map pack from uh, the May Amazon Prime Rewards. It took me forever. I, I had to do it like a hundred different times, a hundred different ways, but it finally worked. I played this map a couple of times against computers just to get the feel for it, um, but this is my first time playing it live with other people. We're doing four player progressive. Lobby filled up pretty quick on this one. I'm first. Um, I, I want to start to consolidate some positions. And I want to have a couple different places on the board. Um, let's just kind of see what everyone does. This is Ralph Risque from America. We have Dionisio Kaya from, I think, I think that was Turkey, if I remember in the lobby. Um, Howl Gumbel 2. This was Antarctica, which I thought was really cool. I, I really hope that that person really is in Antarctica. That would be awesome. Um, this map, I totally forgot until just now, has two two for twos. So it looks like black got one, uh, red got one. I forgot about that until just now. Um, though a two for two like that can be really powerful. And it looks like these two both have a really good strong hold on those two for twos. I, I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Um, up here, things connect through these little tiny doorways. So you need to really watch those doorways. There's also a, a horse. <laughs> the Trojan horse is right here. I don't know who let the Trojan horse in, but that was a huge, huge mistake. <laughs> um, whoever, whoever was guarding the gate that day uh, really, really messed up. And again, I'm just going to kind of keep working to consolidate some of my positions. Um, I'm a little bit all over the place. And I have these teeny tiny stacks everywhere. So I kind of want to do my absolute darndest to save them. And then I will kind of just do a little split up here. See if I can start kind of making my way out of this top pocket. And then uh, just start to get some of my two, the twos and threes together. That's, that's the strategy I'm going for. Playing it by ear. And, you know, seeing what other people are doing. Because, again, I'm not super familiar with this board. I've only played it against computers, and that was just so I can get the feel for it. I did really like this board, though. Um, ooh, black now has this one. That's a plus three. That's not terrible. Red held onto this one, but white broke black down here. And I think that was even maybe a four stack. Let's see if red breaks black. Or are they going to maybe try for another another continent here, maybe? Um, continents really only matter in progressive when, when in, in the very, very beginning, uh, past a certain point, they just start to not matter as much because the cards are worth so much but in the beginning if you can get an early an early continent that can be very very helpful and just giving you a few extra troops to work with Ooh, and it looks like i was able to stay over 18. i have more territory than anyone so that is also de definitely working in my favor I'm just going to pop a few up here again, trying to see if I can maybe push my way from this top corner at some point. 
Um, I still feel a little bit all over the place. White now has a continent. I'm the only one without one. I have very little confidence that anyone's going to let me hold a continent. But you know what? Let's try. Let's see what happens. And I just won't guard it. Um, because I don't want to lose troops. So maybe I can just stack a little bit. And then if nobody cares, great. And if somebody cares, that's also fine. Um, well, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But since everyone else has a continent, I don't want to be the only one without one. I just don't think anyone's going to let me hold, though. Um, and it's a plus five. So that's probably the, the correct choice. I, I would say it's probably the correct choice. But black is mad at white because white broke them earlier. Um, so black hit white. Black did not hit me. Let's see if red lets me hold. Red might try to go for their second continent maybe. I just, I love this game because I'm always like on the edge of my seat over what someone's going to do. Um, you, you sometimes just can't predict what other players are going to let you get away with. Um, you can't really predict what's going to happen with things like the cards and the dice rolls. And so I just, I love this game because anything can happen. Like, really, anything can happen. So now red has their second continent. They'll be getting plus five. I'm also getting plus five, so I'm not going to do anything about it. White might break me, but they also might be mad at black now <laughs> because black broke them. So, like, maybe white and black here are going to be at war with each other. Um, I, I still have a, a ton of stuff littered over here on the side. If if no one hit if white does not hit me even once, I'm over that 21 threshold. So I am really kind of starting to have a little bit of sprawl action happening for me, which I think is working in my favor. All right, doesn't look like white's gonna hit me. Wow, that was so fortunate. And I got 12 troops because of it. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna start to push up here. Is there a little doorway? Nope, there isn't. Okay, so now I've got a pretty good hold on this top portion. Um there's a doorway here. There's a doorway here. So I've got this eight protecting behind me and this five protecting behind me. So I'm starting to make a nice, strong army in this top corner, which means I'll be able to kind of push out this way. I also have this nice, strong middle position. And then I, I've got some stuff going for me over in this corner, too. So I am actually feeling... Um, pretty good about my positioning. I have the most territory on the board. I have the most troops on the board. Um, red traded early. Again, great for me because I was going to get that early trade. I have a trade on four guys. Look at that. That never happens to me. And so far, nobody's broken me, which is really, really surprising. Does red break me now? They've got a nice 10 stack here. Ooh, I'm like so excited to see what happens. You, you just never know what's going to happen in this game. Ooh, they're running out of time. You better do something, Red. Oh, shoot. That came down to the wire for them. What does white do? They're just um, guarding their stuff a little bit. They do not trust black. 
Are they going to take another continent? Sure did. So they're going to be getting a plus seven. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to hurry. I got to do something. Just going to do two attacks again, just kind of sprawling a little bit. And then now I've got a whole one big stack protecting this whole back part of me right there's I don't think there no there's no entry points over here let me just make sure I want to make sure I'm not making a mistake on that okay um so I did not take another continent um again with the trades trades are going to start happening here soon black is taking another continent Ooh, yikes that's a, I think that's a pretty big one too I'm going to get the six. Um, I would have gotten the four. Uh, red trading early like that really helped me in, in just giving me a couple extra ones. Maybe, maybe white trades early too. That would be nice. I'm trying to fit everything. Where's my camera at? Yeah, we can see. Okay. Um, Red takes another, wait, is that a continent? No, what are they missing? Oh, they need to, they needed that to hit me up here to get that one. That's a really big one. Yeah, a plus eight. Ooh, black is getting, black is going to get plus two plus, ooh, black is going to be getting a ton. And he's going to get the, um, the ten trade. Oh, white. No, I needed white to do something about black. Yikes. Yikes on bikes. Black is... Black is really putting me in a pickle. I don't know that I think that was a mistake. I don't know that that might have been a mistake. I <sighs> Things are going to start happening really really fast now and I'm so, so, so hesitant to be the person breaking because that just means that you've, you've just made yourself, you know, a natural enemy on the board. Um, and black didn't, I didn't break black and black did not break me. So, you know, maybe that was the right play. I... I am the I I'm the only one who's really in as many places. You know, Red's got this two back here and they've got a couple over here, but they're mostly here. Um Black has most of his stuff linked up down here, but then they do have a 12 stack back in this corner. White's just got this 3. That is completely trapped between red and me and red. So white is going to be in just one position here very quickly. Um, so I, I do feel good about the fact that I'm kind of pointed in every direction. And it doesn't seem like most other people are right now. Are they going to break me completely? No, they only broke. They, they left me with my original. I don't have a trade.
Hmm. Red is going to be huge. I don't know. I do not know. Mm. Ooh, I'm starting to get super, I'm starting to get super nervous. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how long people hold off on, on the second trade here. Um, Red was the only person who traded in early the first time around. Um, so now that, now that the trades are starting to really get up there, do you see? Do you see what's happening? <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see um, how long people hold off this time. Um, because once those trades start getting big, um, things just start to happen so, so, so quickly. And I don't, I'm not taking out red and white back here because right now black cannot really get to them and so if black for example hits white super hard or red super hard i might then have the opportunity to take the kill and black won't have that opportunity so that's why i'm staying in this position and not taking these back two out um, so we'll really just have to do kind of like a wait and see the only person that white is lined up to kill really is is black but even but black is behind them so there isn't much that white can do um so again i'm really liking my position on the board right now a lot i'm liking that position a lot I feel like I, I have an opportunity to kind of be pointed in every direction. I'm troop leader. I'm territory leader. I have like twice the territories these folks have. We're all going to be forced to trade here soon if nobody trades early. If nobody trades early, I get the 12. Black gets the 15, red gets the 20, white gets the 25. So th this second set of trades starts to make a huge difference. Red traded early. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm getting the 15. Um, I'm hoping if white trades early, I get the 20. Let's, I really would love it if, if that happened. I would absolutely love it if that happened. Oh, I'm starting to I'm starting to get like sick to my stomach almost. What's going to happen? <laughs> what is going to happen? Okay, they just broke my tiny continent. That's all they did. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I don't know where either of those things are, so I I guess I don't care. I didn't want my army to be trapped. So this might be threatening towards white. It, I'm, I didn't mean it to be, but I didn't want to fortify back here because then my army's trapped behind itself. And right now I've got all my armies totally, totally more mobile. Um, this game is so fascinating so far in that, ooh, I've got a trade on three. That's that's super lucky for me. Every We're playing a game of chicken right now, right? Like nobody wants to be the first to move 
So we're totally playing a game of chicken with each other right now. Red is not really, red is the most spread out. They've got like these two 14 stacks, they've got a six, they've got an 11. So red I think is in the poorest position to make a kill. Black has a nice 40 stack, a nice 28 stack, a 23 stack. Black's nicely positioned. White has the biggest stack of all. They've got a 58. Red is just taking this continent. Oh, they broke, they're breaking me everywhere. Rude. I mean, that makes sense, right? <laughs> like, I kind of had that coming a little bit. Okay, white traded. Ooh, they put him behind me. Oh! Did not see that coming. That was well played. That was very well played. Very smart. Very smart. I could kill white, but the trades aren't worth it yet. <sighs> I could have killed white just now, but the trades are not worth it yet. So I would have been really hurting myself. I would only be getting three cards from them, and the trades are only at 35. So um, now that white hit me so hard, I really just need to make sure that I'm not putting myself in a position where I'm very killable. Black is still just stacking. Oh, white, white, that, I think that was a really smart move by white. Um, I, again, I, I really had a really nice position there and, and I think it was smart that they took me out. Red had just broken me all over. And this is the, this is also the thing I love about progressive. God, look at how strong red is now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Am I the first one out? Good thing I traded. Very good thing I traded. This is the thing about progressive is you can really go from being in the first position to being in the last position almost instantaneously. Um, I think it was a mistake that we were just letting red hold all of this territory um, and getting all of these bonuses. Like now I'm seeing that that was just a huge, huge mistake. Do I die now? For one card? Killing me for one card is not, okay, not smart. Okay, no. He's hitting, he needs to hit red and he needs to hit red hard. Otherwise, red is absolutely running away with this game. They're not killing red and they did not take out any of red's big stacks. They literally just took them down territory-wise. I'm really not strong enough to do much of anything. I just wanted to knock white back a little bit, a little tiny bit. 
And at this point, it seems like everyone's trading as soon as they can, which again is smart. Like it, you, when the trades start being worth this much, you don't want to be carrying too many cards that can start to be super dangerous. I think now black is in, is in the absolute best position. They've got pretty big stacks. Um, and, and those stacks are pointed in a lot of different directions. White now just has the one big stack. Red is still pretty spread out. The turn order and the card order is going to start to matter a lot. A lot. Um, I, I don't, my prediction is I do not win this game. And my prediction is if I continue to struggle to have trades on four, like I always do, I will be the first to go. Um, I am so weak right now that if I start carrying too many cards, that I'm it, that's going to start to get super dangerous for me. Um, you start to do the math on how many cards do I have, how many cards do they have, and does that put me in a position to be able to trade again? Um, what you definitely don't want to have happen is you definitely do not want um, to get yourself into a position where you have um, gone into your next turn holding four or five cards um, because that's when the target is on you because people really want those cards. Um, is he going to kill me? Yep. He's going to kill me for my three cards. He's going to get to trade. Well played. Very well played. I think I might watch this one because this one's not going to last too, too much longer. Um, Black might take this right here. Um, so I think I'm going to stay and spectate to see what happens. Because I think that this is really going to be a showdown between white and black. Is, is kind of my early prediction. I think black takes this one. Um, so now I'm just interested to see what happens. He's gonna, he can't kill white yet. Is he just gonna incapacitate white maybe? Interesting. He's also got a 45 stack kind of back there. Does white kill red this next time? It looks like red is like, I ain't messing with black. I'm not, I'm not making black mad. Um, so they are really putting white into one position. Maybe um, playing for a second a little bit. I think red needs to beat back black a little bit. I think that that was a mistake. Um, black absolutely wins this game because, um, because red did not hit black at all. They could have come um, out this way and started to get rid of some of this. And then is, you know, red just hit white only. Now white is trying to decide, do I hit black or red? But either way, white knows that they're they're done for. Um, so I think if I were in white's position, I, I probably would have just started to tear through black the best I could. Holy crap, what are the trades? What are the trades up to? He just got so many cards. Look at, or so many troops. That's insane. So yeah, black takes this one. Red, red made a huge mistake by not beating black back. Um, black's going to get to um, hit red really, really hard here. He may not take it in this turn, um, but he is absolutely winning this one. Like without a doubt, he's winning this one. It might come down to who gets cards first. Like, he trapped himself back here and, again, did not hit any of Red's stacks. 
I think that was a huge mistake. Like now red has stacks that can go in every which way direction. Red and he, they got 60 troops for trading. Ooh, red is back in this game. Black, I think, made a huge mistake by not taking these stacks out. Um, red needs to move fast. They are not moving fast enough. They need to hustle. They need to tear through this board in every direction, take every stack in every direction, and they have got to hit black super duper hard to win this end game. They need to go faster. Black has four cards. He needs to hit black stack. Hit this 45. There you go. Now hustle. You got to hustle, uh, Dion. They're not going to have enough time. They didn't ha hit black hard enough. He's still got 40-something territories. He's still holding continents. His 70s trapped, though. So, again, that was a huge mistake to trap that 70 because now that 70 is worthless to him. If white had, or if red had been faster, if red had been faster, they might have taken this. They needed to just decimate black out here. Um, leave him, he, he wouldn't have then gotten 30 troops. Like, he's getting those 30 troops because he's got ton of territory, a ton of continent. Red needed to just go. Um, so this was one that could have been anyone's game, but Black made a, a mistake, and then Red did not capitalize on that mistake. Okay. Yeah, nothing Red can do now. Nothing Red can do now. This was a great game. I, I bet we're going to see that black is pretty good. I'm betting at least a master. Based on how slow red is, I'm thinking red, maybe not higher than an expert. They were also trading early. Um, so I think that we'll see that black was probably the strongest person in this game. Um, I, white didn't seem like they were bad. Necessarily. I don't think they're Grandmaster. White is definitely not a Grandmaster. I could see them being Expert or Master, though, potentially. This was a fun one. I really like this board. Like, even though I was the first one out this time, I love this board. And I think the four players made it really interesting. It was almost like a, a little standoff there for a good portion of the game. Watch this. That watch this must be the uh, victory. Yeah, black's good. Black's real good. I think they're even maybe holding back a little bit on their speed. This was a great game. I love this one. I really like this board. Um, I'll be interested to do a little rematch. I'll tell you what, games are not going my way today, and that's fine. Um, this was a good one. I really liked this one. Let's see what everybody was. Black was an expert. That I'm surprised. I wish you could see the hours. Oh, God, don't I wish you could see the hours. Um, Red was an expert. Not surprised by that. They weren't a bad player. Um, they were not fast enough, though. They, they could have maybe taken this. Um, white intermediate. So I was actually the highest ranked person in this match. Um, maybe not anymore, though. I've held on to this master for far longer than I ever anticipated. Um, I was at like 5,000 this morning, down to 8,000 now after two losses. The leaderboard reset. It resets, I think, quarterly. So you guys might remember that I was in like the 11,000s, 12,000s, um, the reason I'm up, I'm up higher is just because of the rank reset. Um, I will actually slowly tick down again um, as more people play this season. So that it's not that I've climbed up. It's actually just that things reset. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, I got my battle points. Um, this has been fun because you get free stuff. Um, I'm, I'm working up to these gems. The gems are what I care about. 
um, got these gems um, because I want to get more boards and more emotes and stuff. I don't so much care about like the dice and, and things like that. Um, but this is cool. This is something new. This dice is neat. Space Lava, I will probably use this dice once I get it. So I think this is really a cool new feature, um, especially because it kind of encourages you to play a little bit each day, which I normally only play on the weekend. So I've been having to kind of pop in and play just a couple of single players just so I can get my gems for the day <laughs> or my battle points for the day. So thank you so much for watching and we will catch you next time.